Hello everyone, this is Junaid here from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I'm going to talk about F strings and Python. So without any delay, let's take a look at today's agenda. We'll start this session by understanding what are strings and Python, then we shall see string formatting and various ways to format strings. Moving ahead, we'll then discuss F strings, its implementations and limitations. Before we begin, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on trending technologies. Also, if you're looking for online training certification in Python, check out the link given in the description box below. So what are strings? Strings is the immutable data type which cannot be changed once we declare it in a program. So what does this immutable data type mean, right? Well, this means that every time we define a string, its object is created. And now if you try to manipulate the same string, a new object gets created. So how can we define strings? Well, we use single code or double code to define a string in a single line or three codes to declare a string on a multiple line. So strings are basically arrays of bytes representing unique code character. Speaking about the character, did you know Python does not have any character data type? A single character in Python is simply a string whose length is one. So now what is string formatting? Well, you see string formatting is the process of substituting values of variables into the placeholder in a string. Now you might be wondering, right? This sounds something similar to string concatenation. Well, yes, this is something similar to string concatenation, but without using plus or any concatenation method. There are various ways to format strings in Python. And few of the popular ways to format strings in Python are by using percentage operator, by using string dot format method, by string interpolation or F strings, or by using template strings. Moving ahead, let us now discuss the most popular type of string formatting that is F strings. I'm sure you might be wondering why is this format method called as F string, right? Well, you see here we are using prefix F before we define our string. The F string is one of the most advanced way to format string. This new way of formatting lets us embed Python expression inside the string constraints. To make you understand this better, let me move to my code editor and show you how we can use F string to format our strings. All right, so here we are at our code editor. So I want the input to be something like, hello, I'm Jine. I am 24 years old. All right, so I want to print this. But now what the catch is over here is this is going to be string. So we want this to be in our output, right? So this would be like, I'm going to define this as a name. And here this would be integer. So the age obviously differs for different people. So let's see how we can implement this. So first off, I'm going to create a variable by name. So I'm going to give my name here. My age. It will be 24. So here we have one is integer and another one is string, right? Now what I want to do over here is I will print an output here print. So let's first see how we do this traditionally, right? So let's first use string concatenation. So it will be something like hello. My name is and then I'm obviously going to provide here like name. And then I'm going to have another part of string wherein it says my age is and then age. Okay, so let's execute our code now. Well, you see here, right? So here it says, hello, my name is Junaid. My age is 24 years. Okay, so now although this works fine, right? But it makes it complicated because over here we are supposed to make sure, you know, we have, we provide correct amount of space and it jeopardizes our readability of our code. Now what F string does over here is we simply have to have F as a prefix and then have a semicolon and now here it will be like hello my name is Junaid okay so Junaid is present in a variable name right so what I'll do is name my age is h because my age is present within our age variable okay so now if I print this it will show me hello my name is name and my age is h so I don't want that. I want my name like Junaid to be printed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just enclose this in our curly braces here. So let us now execute our code and see what happens, right? Wow, we're getting the same output, right? But now what's the difference? As you can see, right, this second print statement or the print statement in line number six is more visually pleasing. So 
Now what's happening over here? You see, every time I have this string with the prefix f, and then I have this flower brackets, right? Now this flower bracket here acts as a Python region. So now what's happening over here? See, now we have this flower braces, right? What happens over here is whatever you type within this flower braces, it becomes a Python region. So what is this Python region? You see, now if I want to perform any kind of computation over here, this is a Python region, right? So here it, it would be treated as something like if I want to perform any kind of operations, it will be done over here. Okay, so let's let's say for example, let's take something like uh, to get a random number. So let's import a random. So import random. Okay, now I want a random number, but I don't want to have any variable. I want to directly do it over here. Okay, so now what happens here is random dot random. And then now we are going to pass some values. So let's let it be like 0 to 10. So here we're going to get any random values between 0 and 9. Okay, because this lower limit is 0 and upper limit is minus 1. So here n is 10 minus 1 is 9. Okay, so let's see whether we are going to get any random value over here or not. So let me execute this again. Now in order to better understand this right, let me run a for loop here. So for i in range 5. Okay, I want to print this print statement. So let me execute this code now. So as you can see here, right? So I have run this five times and all the five times I've got my random number. So this is how powerful the F string is. You see, all the F string is advanced and easy to work with. It comes with their own set of limitations. So let us now understand each one of them. When we are working with F string, right? And every time we define our flower bracket, we cannot leave that flower bracket empty. Okay, so any part of the flower bracket within the F string cannot be empty. Apart from that, here we cannot use comments. Okay, so like as I've mentioned earlier, right, within the F string, that part becomes a Python part, right? So usually, whenever you have a Python part, you can obviously include some comments, but here you cannot use a hash symbol and have comments. Apart from that, if you want to incorporate a new line, you cannot use backslash within our Python strings. All right, guys, with this, we come to the end of our session. If you have any further questions, please feel free to mention them in the comment box below. Until next time, goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!